there's a monster Is it Mr. Hide on me, who's the imposter? Who's to say, short circuit my DNA Be a better man, get down on one knee and pray it's This year's rig builds are out of control. With three new builds to torture test in the upcoming series, let's get it all happening with Simon's rig. The Isuzu D-Max. We're on to season 15. Can you believe it? 15 years of all for adventure and it's gonna start all over again this year. Now this year I've got the biggest job I've ever had of any season. I gotta build three brand new trucks for the season and I'm starting with this thing behind me. The brand new D-Max, it is the top of the line. X-Terrain D-Max, Isuzu D-Max. This is Simon's new drive for season 15 of All For Adventure. And the first place we come to is to get the suspension on. So we rocked up to Outback Armour, we're gonna take it in onto the hoist. So stay tuned for this build video on Simon's new D-Max. G'day, my name's Odell from Outback Armour and we got Simon's brand new D-Max X-Terrain here. And today we're giving it the All For Adventure pack, which includes front and rear adjustable suspension. It's got a front diff drop kit in it. It's got upper control arms, front and rear bump stops, rear heavy duty leafs, everything they need to go off-road and have those amazing adventures that they do. Suspension really is the hidden hero of a vehicle. It's responsible for comfort, control, and safety, really. And we've been working with Jason, the team from All For Adventure now for a fair while, and it's no fluke that you've never seen a suspension issue on the show. And you'll see Outback Armour in all the vehicles in All For Adventure in season 15. You. After Outback Armour, the Isuzu was off to the experts at Norweld for the canopy treatment. Hey guys, Georgia here from Norwell Brisbane. Today we are fitting up All For Adventure's brand new Isuzu D-Max. So this vehicle is going to be for Simon and he has gone with our full-time deluxe canopy package. Basically starting with the full-time canopy, this includes your two under tray toolboxes, a rear pullout trundle drawer, as well as a 40 litre water tank so you'll always have water on board with you. Now moving up into the actual canopy configuration, beginning on the passenger side, we have a provision there which you can either fit a drop down fridge slide mount or an upright fridge bracket. Right along next to that we have a pull out drawer and table combo for all your kitchen and cooking needs. And moving over to the driver's side we have the pull out lockable drawer where you can store all of your camping needs. So we all know that Simon loves to really put his rigs to the test and we are absolutely sure and confident that he'll have no dramas with his brand new full-time Norweld build. Oh, there's the D-Max. Now, last time I dropped it here, it was literally stock as a rock. How you going? Hey, good. Hey, How that's the go. Yeah, good, thanks. That's What's happening? Good, you know. How you going, mate? Good, thanks, Ben. Yeah. Steven. ben. How you going, Ben? Good. Hey, um, you got some new features on your canopy. Let's have a quick look anyway, yeah, eh? Definitely. Because I'm keen to see. I got the new latches, I see that. Yeah. They look good. They look really good. Look at that. Smooth as silk. Yeah. The thing I, like, I do like about the uh, Norwell canopies is they would have to be the toughest canopy on the planet. Let's say the planet. Planet's not a real big place these days yeah. <laughs> because they do to go to America, would you believe? Norwell canopies go all the way over to America and go on to um, American trucks like yes. Chevys yep. and F trucks and stuff like that. Flatbeds, yeah. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, look, we've been beating the crap out of your canopy. I know it doesn't sound time. good, but yeah. <laughs> They haven't failed yet, so, and I mean flogged. So yeah, um, that's what I like about the Norwell canopies. And I'm seeing some really cool stuff in here, and we won't get into the uh, Red Ark stuff till later, Yeah. but there's yeah. new Red Ark stuff I see. Happening in the background. Yeah. This is a whole new layout for Simon this year as well. Definitely. There we go, be able to mark himself on that map. I don't think he's had a map yet. I don't think so, no. No, not, not in his truck. Bag as well underneath Oh there, yes, so. look at that. <laughs> Is there egg holders? No egg holders. <laughs> he, <laughs> he likes a lot of eggs. Well, there you go. So now that it's 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 on the vehicle, 
it's ready to rock and roll. So big step. Getting the canopy on to the vehicle is a big step in the build. Now remember, it's a, a touring vehicle. So we've got to make these vehicles so that they can tour Australia because that's what we do. We make touring vehicles. We don't make rock climbers or, or um, you know, I don't know, whatever other vehicles are, rock crawling vehicles. We're making vehicles that can actually practically use on the road for towing, for living out of canopy, rooftop tent, all that stuff so far. And that's what makes a touring vehicle. All right, there you go, guys. Stay tuned as we take the D-Max now to the next stage at McCormax. All right, here we are again. <laughs> I thought I'd just come straight in, mate, and just smash the joint. Hey, he's going. Good, good. I'm busy. That is good because you're going to get busier. I've got Simon's truck, and it needs everything and anything that you boys can put on it. Where do we start? All right, okay, we'll roll her in. Where's uh, Bodie? Bodie, see if I can grab you, mate. Yeah, yeah, let's get this sucker in the workshop and get it happening because Simon's telling me he wants some sort of out of control touring weapon. Yep. Oh, Suzu D Max. He's coming to the right place, sir. Perfect. Let's do it, boys. All right, let's go. Is this the back door to get to the good stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, as you know, Bodie from McCormax. The guy that builds all the flash machines for all for adventure and okay and the stuff you see on youtube channel the 300 remember that was a that was a bodie one that one I, I, 300 yeah i reckon i had i reckon i give him heaps of sleepless nights over that 300 plenty did i oh yeah yeah exactly like, you always do mate exactly because <laughs> he ring me up and go what do you think about this color with this color and we put some here and get rid of that crap Nah, nah, I don't like that. <laughs> so this is, oi, this is Simon's truck, all right? Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta be real careful with Simon's truck, you know? You gotta be sort of, you don't wanna make it too Larry because you know Simon, he likes, he likes to just subtle. blend in, subtle. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not going black. Okay. We're definitely not going black this year. We've always gone black, black, back in black, black out. Um, what was the other black? I don't know, there's some other, Simon's truck, yeah, the Maxi 2 was two. black. Yeah. Maxi 1, one was, was black. black. Yeah, you see there's this bit black. of black thing going on? Yeah. We're not going black. It's not back in black, it's black is out. Okay, so basically if you have a look, it looks pretty flash. It's a new style. Like they've made some subtle changes, mm. old uh, Norwell. Oh, well. Now I've just filled it up with a pile of stuff that I could find and Ta -da. all that has to end up in here somehow. Yep. Yeah. All right. So what are you thinking? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to do something different for Simon and that's give him some, have a look here. This is a, a control, red control vision. panel. Yeah, red, red vision, vision control panel. Okay, yep. we got one over there. Yeah. But I think they need one over this side right. as well. You want it in the drawer? You're reading my mind. Right on. No so problem. right there like that. Yep. Yeah, perfect, put that in there. So he can walk on both sides. Too easy. Okay, lighting is going to be the other thing. You'll see there's a whole heap of XTM lighting there. Uh, we got Red Arc Tow Vision as uh, your tow pro, tow pro, as you know. Yeah. To go with the Red Vision Red Arc products. Is that going on the roof? Yeah. No. 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 Bar. Bull bar. Yeah. We got a bull bar to do. Yeah. We got uh, communication. We've got lighting. We've got uh, what's this thing here? It's a dash view. Dash got to check that in. Yeah. There's a winch. Yeah. Okay. We got to put the uh, XDM winch, winch in. Yep, yep. Yep. All that sort of stuff. So you're running these on the rhino rack? Yeah. Yeah. They'll on sit the on the side. Yeah. Yep. So rhino rack. We got to get that in play. And oh, you've got front light bars for the front yeah rack. light bars got yep. the little one that goes in the gap there for the off-road animal bar yep. tires and rims are going to go on suspension's already done mate this is going to be what, about, um, what are we what are we thinking he's thinking he's coming he's thinking i like it when he thinks because then he goes colors you doing hose reels on this build yeah all right hose reels. i need air that. yeah I need air. yeah we got to get some air in here airbag man Airbag man, yeah, yeah, I think we're going to stick some in there. I'm not sure on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But they will be going. Yeah. In there, there's a possibility. Rooftop tent. Yes, rooftop tent. So we've got to get some awnings on this thing. Yeah. We've got to do the uh, bat wing. Yeah. Okay, on the far side. And then on this side, we're going to do the uh, Sunseeker 2.5. Yeah. When these trucks sort of come in to McCormack's, they get the big major part of the build, right? There's a fair bit going on in your part, mm, okay? Yeah. And as I can see, I see all the trucks lined up in here. 
there's a heap of trucks. There's a created conversion there. There's a little Suzuki. There's a there's some sort of Hiluxy oh, looking thing. There's a 300 sitting on the hoist. hoist yeah. So you do them all. All day. Yeah, perfect. All right. Yeah. And the other thing too is I have to bring down the um, the camera truck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, last year's camera truck. Yeah, you remember that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that one's a bit. Sore. Out of all our vehicles, that was probably the best kept best looking looked after best kept looked after truck yeah, yeah. yeah no no <laughs> anyway whatever you do don't give the cameraman your truck trust me that, <laughs> they can turn a good truck into a bad truck really quickly, quickly. <laughs> all right so there you go so mccormack's are going to start that build um mate i can't wait we do have um, mirrors yeah, yeah, clear view mirrors are coming. There's already the slide on the other Just side. So, you, mate. Make yeah. sure you're I've got it. I've got every. I've got it all down pat. We've been doing this for a long, long time, time now. Yeah. So yeah. We'll all right. right. Stay tuned for what happens here at McCormack's. Jeez. All right, mate. What? Well, we reckon we could change. We got to get rid of all this yeah, all silver and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm gonna. I want to put like. I'm gonna, we got the wrap. I reckon the wrap's got to go on here as well. No one does wraps better than Sinorama. Jay dropped off a new D Max yesterday, um, and he wanted to uh, he wanted to match the Adventure 300, so stripped it down and gone for the satin charcoal effect again. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get it finished. Okay, so when the vehicle arrives, what we do is we we remove all of the uh, the door handles and the door trims as much as we can, um, give it a real good clean down, get really into the crevices. wasn't so bad this time because it's a brand new vehicle. Um, so clean all the surfaces down, around the edges, into the door trims, um, yeah, and then just pretty much just wrap where we can reach. All right. Now, the one thing that you will find that when you're building trucks, okay, tires and wheels can make the vehicle. There's no doubt about it. A good looking set of rims and a good looking tire, okay, can really make the vehicle just pop. Now, the reason why that choice is so important, it's not just about the rim, the size of the rim, but it's also about the tire and the offset. Um, you know, how wide the tire is in relation to its size, uh, what sort of traction it's got, how good and reliable the tire is, and also, you know, what size rim you're going to put it on, 17, 18s, 20s, okay? That can make all the difference the way the car handles, the way the car sits, the way it looks. So, I'm here at Black Bear, Black Bear Tires. Now, Rick, the owner of Black Bear Tires, has got a set of tires and rims. Now these are the new ones from ROH and he's got a new set of tires as well. We're going to chuck on Simon's D-Max. Can't wait to see. Let's have a look. Is that them? Here's the yours man. 17 by 9s, POS 12, perfect fitment for you. Your D-Max. Did you pick that one? The ROH sent them over for you. Mate, it's their latest wheel, I am sure. not kidding you. I'm not kidding you but that is the exact match. Now, I, I, I did not even pick the, I didn't even see a picture of. That color there, that silver in the middle, is the exact copy of the wrap that is on that truck right now. On the car. Beautiful. How good's Good that? Yeah. I'm serious, I'm dead serious. I did not pick these rims. I didn't see a photo of them. ROH just said, we got some new rims for Simon's D-Max. Boom, look at that. And these are the new, these are the new Black Bear mud terrains, aren't they? Yeah, so these, we've kitted them out with your 285 7017, which is equivalent to a 33. Yeah. So that's what, that's what would be best suited for that vehicle, especially what you're doing. So. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, nice and wide. Look at that tread. That's the thing I like about your tyres, Rick, is the fact that they just, they've got their real wide stance and they've got a lot of meat in them. Yeah. Mate. I've been running tires, different brands of tires for years now. Now, I mean a long time. I've been in this game for 15 years. Now, I don't want to piss in your pocket or anything, but I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say it, that your tires have been the best performing tire out of all the tires I've ever used. Oh, wow. Now, that's a combination of that's awesome. its durability in the bush, yep. okay, its traction, and the look and the stance of the tire. That is the one thing that I notice about your tires. They just sit differently to a lot of other tires. No, that's awesome. That's really that's good. Pretty good mate. Yeah, that's yeah, really good. That's what I reckon. <laughs> so. How do you reckon they're going to go on the, the new D Max? Look at that. Simon's just going to get us like 
blow his mind, mate. Yeah, it'll be good. He's going to love it's them. It's tough, yeah. Very tough. Well, that's cool, mate. Well, we're going to load them up on the trailer and get these over oh. to McCormack's and, um, yeah, keep it rolling. Up, fit it up. Mm. We've got a lot to do. I've got to uh, go over there and help, actually. <laughs> so otherwise, we're never going to get out of here. All right, let's All right, start right, loading right. them up. You don't push it out, mate. Don't carry them. Oh, you just wheel them? Yeah, it's easier. They roll. They won't wear either. Oh, look at that. Just roll them out. Hey, that's really hard to do. Oh, oh you got to repaint that one. All oh, right. These are the new tyres, mate. They look all right, eh? I'll show you what to do, mate. Oh, here we go. All right. Show us how, they do, how you do it. So you just do that. <laughs> it's pretty simple through that door. And then I'll even do it backwards for you. Do it backwards, show me. You see? How do you do that? <laughs> I've been changing tyres for 20 years straight. And you don't you don't do that? You don't do the rolly thing? No, no, no. Oh, I thought he was gonna show us the rolly thing. Oh, anyway, they're, they're the new Vulcans, mate. Vulcans, all right. Vulcans, yes, what do you reckon? Good, 285-70s, <laughs> big set of feet. Mate, I haven't seen the wrap. She's over there. And the bar's just been done, painted. And something All right, else. do we get a quick quick look at it? Look at that. Nice, eh? Oh, I'm liking it. You like that? Bit of fat and black. Yeah, look at that. Wow. I'm liking it. Yeah, it's nice. Wow. I've done a good job too, it's tidy. Yeah. It does look mint. Yeah. Well, Simon's just going to be like, oh, ha, 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 ha. Like that. Fresh legs. Fresh legs. <laughs> Fresh truck. Fresh truck. It's going to be a little bit hot in here. Over to the paint bay to check out the colour match on the bull bar, racks and grill. Oh, look at this. There's, there's the bar. That's the Toro. We've been running Predators. Yeah, I know. This is your first I'm looking for something. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for something different this year. Yeah. So that's, that's your satin look. We've also opted for the roof racks to be done this year. Oh, yes. Now you're talking. So a little bit more. A bit of paint. A bit of colour. It's amazing what a bit of colour does, eh? It's a stick game. Yeah. Looks good. Grill. Oh, look at that. I'll be in tomorrow to give you a hand, mate. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Make I'll bring, sure you bring, I'll bring the, me... your, your work boots, mate. Oh, yeah, I'll bring my work boots. <laughs> it's not just about the build. Simon needs recovery equipment. So, before we get too excited, I've got to get some new Max tracks for this trip, OK, for these vehicles and for the trip. So, why not go to the home of Max tracks? Hey mate, how you going? <laughs> there you are. How you going? Thought I'd come to the head head office, mate. The yeah, HQ. Yeah, that's it. It always gets impressive every time I come here. I just like the height of the the yeah, Max Tracks, mate. Tracks. That's it. What are you chasing, mate? Can you remember? I've been using Max Tracks now for the last. I reckon it's got to be 12 years. I had the first set of Max Tracks, Brad. Um, the original. The original OG of Max Tracks. Actually, I met him on the side of the highway when I was heading north, and um, he literally handed me these things, these plastic-looking board things, and I'm like, "That's them." He goes, "Yeah, this is them, mate. They'll get you out of a out of the bog." And um, it was that series. I went to Cape York. Uh, me and Rod, I went to Cape York, and I actually used them, and I had nothing else to get me out of that that that. Um, that bog because there was no way I was going to winch off anything. There was nothing to winch off. And I literally, the Max Tracks got the old Nissan Patrol out of the bog and I was able to get across this big mud flat because of it. So I remember that 12 years ago. So those things just ripped in underneath those back tyres, mate, and you can just feel the traction just pulled me straight up out of that pit. Then the back ones, mashed into the back ones, and then just kept rolling. Yeah, and ever since then, we just use them Time and time again, that many of them, one of these? Yeah, go for that. All right, we'll put a couple of those on. And, uh, oh, then that's a nice colour. Yeah. I like that colour. Just a few more boxes. Yeah, we'll chuck a few more boxes on. We need a fair few of these. Yeah. Mate, I reckon, I remember building roads with these things. Have you got the ones that fit the uh, Rhino rack yeah, roof yeah. racks? Oh, perfect. They're the channel nuts, they're the ones for Rhino. They're the ones with the frame on them? Yep. 
That's them. That's the perfect one. Yep. So that that fits perfectly on the roof rack, the Rhino rack roof racks. North, so south, got, east, west. Yeah, you, you can put just your channel nuts in anywhere. And yeah, gotcha. No, them. they were good. I like those ones. Didn't even make a dint on this joint, mate. No. All right, boys, I've got the tools. I'm ready to go. What's going on? Oh, mate. Where do I start? Oh, mate. <laughs> I'm good to go, mate. Do you want me to do anything else while we're at it? Well, you can build the bar. <laughs> I reckon I could get something happening on the around here. Anyway, so we're here again this morning because today is the day. The day when we start putting all the good fruit onto this vehicle. Not that it hasn't got already got some good fruit on it, but we've got to put more and more of the good fruit on. Remember, we're at the stage where we've got full suspension, canopies on, um, you know, we're, we've got a wrap on it. We've got, we still got to put tyres and rims. We still got to put roof rack. We still got to put bull bar, winch, lights, spotlights, all that sort of stuff has got to go on this truck. Then we've got to get around into the canopy, start working on, um, you know, all the electronics in there and stuff like that, charging systems, which some of it is already installed, but air system as well, we've got to get that happening. And then of course, you know, little things like pump going on and yeah. stuff like that, For the, we're going to put a pressure pump in. So there's a big load of stuff to go on and there's a lot of work to do. So I've come down with a few tools. All right, Ready give me a job, it. mate. Give me a job. All right, let's get the winch Anything out. that involves these two things. <laughs> let's get the winch out. All right, okay, let's get a winch out. Where is the winch? Over here. All right, let's get the winch. So what I'm going to do with this one is we're actually, we're going to put the bull bar on first, and then the beauty of these bars, okay, this is the uh, off-road animal predator bar, okay. Toro. Oh, do that again. This year we're doing the Toro. Okay, I got that wrong. Got that wrong already. So it's the Toro. Predator bar is the one we normally put on. So we're gonna go with the Toro. Toro bar, Toro. copy that. It's already been color coded, as you would have seen earlier, yep. Yep, in the paint bay. Now, we'll be able to put the winch in once the bar is on. So the beauty of those off-road animal bars is, winch in, winch out, so you can service your winch without having to take the bar off. Because let's face it, all winches need servicing over time, depending on what you do with them. All right. Now, these are easy to fit, these um, XCMs, by the way, so they're not high tech. But you've got to make sure you get the cables right. You get the cables wrong, you wonder why the thing doesn't work. It's easy to follow. So they run a remote control. OK, so you see that, cable and remote. This unplugs there and that creates the remote, which is a pretty cool setup. It means you've only got a cable then, all right? And you've got your remote, put it together, and you go full cable. Terminal B is red. It's pretty much that simple. It's like, <laughs> just read the instructions and away you go. Nice tight fit, all right. That's the first bit done. Next step now is to put it into the bull bar. Simple as that. Let's have a quick look. There's the mounting position here. It goes into there like that. Sits on there. All right, so for this D-Max setup, bull bar, okay, off-road animal bar, I'm gonna need a 20-inch light bar which fits in the front, okay, so that's designed to take this 21-inch slim line XTM light bar, and then I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to need to see whether I can fit some two nine inch, or oh, whether I put one nine inch and two two uh, sevens. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. We're going to we're going to see what the spacing. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. All right, here we go. So that goes in there. Now, before I do anything, you want to slip this bolt in. Yep. Yep. Ready to slip her in. So she just slips into the bar like this made for it perfectly. There we go. Bull bar's going on now. Everyone's ready. Look, he's fired up and he's ready. He's good to go. He's good to go. Are you ready, mate? Are you ready? Are you with me? Bodie, are you good? Are you good, mate? All right, you got the bolts? We're good to go? Let's do it. Go. All right. Here we go. All right, nice and steady so we don't push him right out. That one, that's it. Slide him out. Let's, 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 try. let's take two, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Come on, mate. I can't hold this bar up all day. <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> There we good, we good. As you can see, now straight away, the first thing that you'll notice is look at the size of that hole in the front. So that, that's what allows you to pull winch in and out. So there's all panels that get bolted in there to, to you know, to little, little basically trim panels that go in there. You've got the fair lead attaches in here, but this is the main plate that the, the winch bolts to. And mate, that's the beauty of these bull bars. I, I, that is the one thing that sells me every single time is the fact that I can access that winch at any time I want, whether it be maintenance, whether it be an electrical issue, because there's one thing about winches, no matter what brand winch you got, let's face it, they're all gonna have some sort of issue when it comes to mud and water ingress. They're not, they are not 100% waterproof. Don't let anyone tell you that you pay more for a winch, you get a better winch, trust me. We've been using these winches for a while now, the XTM winch, and I don't know about you, but they have got us out of the proverbial what we call it, mud and crap a lot of times, more times than I can remember. Even last season, that was just next level. There we go, watch the fingers. Yeah. There we go. So you can see what I mean, how easy it is to get this winch in and out, to service it, look at it, check it, you know what I mean? That's, that's the beauty of it. Okay, so I'm just going to centralise it in the bar. So essentially those four bolts there, that takes all the load from the winch on those four bolts. That's the winch mounting bolts. So remember, the winch is going in like that, right? So the rope is doing these ones. So that's what the spool is doing or the drum. So when it loads up, the winch is doing these ones. So what the winch wants to do is, in the bar, it wants to do that. It wants to pull your bar off. So it's very important that, and you'll see, have a look under here. Have a look at this under here. There's a full stiffener, a stiffening plate under here. And that stops that, this plate here, which is your mounting plate, stops it from flexing up and basically just tearing your bar off. So it's quite strong. So next step, some lights. All right, I've got two sets of lights here. We've got a set of nine inch and a set of sixes, I think they are, when um, we're talking inches. So these ones, I'm gonna see if I can get maybe maybe one of these and two of those, or maybe three of these. I, I don't really know. I'm just gonna see what fits. More than likely, I'm probably only gonna get two of these or one and two of them. Pop them out of the box. Here they are here. Now these are a really cool light. We've been using these for years now. You don't have to take the covers off to operate them, okay? Some lights you do, which I reckon is a pain in the neck. Brackets, they've got, some, they've got these um, gusseted brackets. Make sure that you use, you, when you bolt these, you use all three bolts to bolt these things up. That's important. These are these good waterproof connectors. Have a look there, there's a rubber seal there. There's a brand that you're all familiar with, I know, called Deutsch. These aren't Deutsch, but uh, Deutsch is what they call them, Deutsch connectors. All right, there they are. And if you look the way it goes in, just clips in, you push it into a clip, so you can feel that rubber seal just push in. Like that. In she goes, nice and tight. Job done. Yeah, I like that. I'm liking that. All right, so now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a twin twin light bars, twin 31s in here, using the uh, Stowit, the Stowit um, mounting system from Rhino Rack. Yep, so we'll just slide them into two. Whack that on there. So we got the Swift Locks. That's the little uh, brackets there, little Swift Lock locking mechanism that sits in there like that. Now before you nip that up, grab the other bar. So this one, 
it picks up one of these holes. Yep. That's it, see that? Yep. Spot on. So there you go, that, that little setup there gets you two live bars, double stacked, which is pretty cool. Don't scratch the juco. No way. So where's the hole? There in there. There? Yeah. Oh, how good does that look? How good does that look? See these, see these little, see the, the backbone there? What Bodie's gone and done is he's color matched it to the vehicle. How good's that? So the bull bar, the backbone, all that, that color, we're gonna pull that color right through. And start putting mirrors on, Clearview mirrors there at some stage. We got some power boards to go on, mate. Yeah, that'll look trick. What do you reckon about the power boards? I'm not much sure what colour they are. Maybe they could be painted black, yeah. like to match the black. We I think they're already... able to do a bit of grey as they pop up. Yeah, that's the go. Oh. But there you go. It's all it's the little those little things that make make it. I reckon yeah. as an overall detail. package. Yeah, attention to detail, attention mate. To detail, too. pretty much. The wrap is just it's next level. Like people actually asked me when they did the uh, 300, they were asking me, man, is that, is that a paint job? When, when my wife would drive it into town, they'd, they'd, some old boy come up to her and it's like, waved her over and goes, oh, I really like your car, I like that paint job. <laughs> there you go. All right, big power slot. Oh, look at that. Light. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be heavy. No, that's a light, mate. This feel lighter than the normal slot. A heap slot, heaps light, mate. All right, first things first, we need power for here, all right, so that we can slide these rams forward, put the pins in. Put some on the earlier for you, mate. Oh, perfect, there we go. That's all we need. Shove that on there. Slide her in on that, mate. All right, so um, I won't bolt that in just yet because I want to put some carpet in there as well and stuff like that. Work out how we'll run that power lead as well so it's not in the way. But that's the new power slide going into Simon's truck. He's going to be happy with that, I'll tell you now. He, he liked the last one on the kitchen. That's just going to be so easy, up and down. Mate, awesome. Good gear from Clearview, that's for sure. G'day guys, this video is brought to you today by the Ultimate Camp Cooking Bundle from Camp Boss. Now, this would have to be one of my most favorite cooking utensils because it is lightweight. It's 12 inch, it's spun steel, camp oven, comes with all the accessories. You've got a bag, you've got a trivet, you've got the hook, and you've got the gloves. Makes cooking in the bush easy and simple, like I always do when I go away. Anyway, if you want to check them out, go to Camp Boss 4x4 online web store, or get down to your local Camp Boss dealer. Anyway, that's enough from me. Keep checking out the video. All right, so it's the weekend at the moment. Now, when we're building vehicles, I like to do little finishing touches on it so that, you know, just so that I can put my little stamp on it um, and, you know, tweak it the way I want, as you do when you're building trucks, all right? So today, with the help of a couple of mates, we're going to um, chuck a few bits and pieces on this truck. Um, you know, some carpet, we've got to put a rooftop tent on, hold him there, all that sort of stuff. All right, this is the sound bar for a bit of bush doof. Check that out, look at that thing. Woohoo! That'll be the go right there. Batwing 270, so bolts on the side there, swings around, and you've got to line the back up so when the back comes around, Okay, so you move the awning forward or back to allow for that to come around nicely and tension up. Grab your ladder there, mate. Where is that? So that will go in there like that. If you have a look at it, your pivot, that pivot's got to be probably Just past about it. here somewhere. But let's, let's get the height off the door first. Oh, that's where the door sits? Yep. Okay. Mate, that's pretty good, eh? We could probably do a quick swing out test. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna mount up this little sucker here. This is the uh, Sun Seeker. Is that about the center of it, roughly? Yeah, it's about the center. Let's see how she does when I open this up. Yeah, it just touches it, which is fine. Look at that. The old Sun Seeker, 2.5. 
How you going here, Stu? Getting there. He's getting there. Okay, look at this. How good does this look? This looks bloody awesome, mate. Well done. I decided, I came up with this brilliant idea that we're going to put a third light bar on the roof and we're going to mount it across here. Now, I've just borrowed some, grabbed these awning brackets actually that come with the Rhino Rack awning and they work perfectly here. So, you beauty, look, watch this. You ready? Whack her in place. Wait on, wait on. I've got washer. Come on, mate. Yeah, I'm on board. Oh, there we go. How good does it look? Let's have a look. It, so what that does, it actually just fills that little gap between the, um, the awning, sorry, the rooftop tent, the awnings, and the two light bars on the front, and they're just perfectly in line. Have a look. That's not too bad, eh? How good's that? That is pretty good. Mate, that's next level. That's pretty good. In the bush, mate, you're gonna start melting. You're gonna start setting fire to the trees in front of him. So you've got four light bars, three spotties. Yeah, I can't wait till see Simon, see Simon's face when he sees this. He's, He's gonna, gonna love it. Like, Boom! You boys want a beer? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, everyone wants a beer. All right, grab a beer. Here we go, here's a couple of beers. A couple of these ones. Yeah, mate, that'll do. Hell yeah, here you go. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Oh, brew ha ha. It's the afternoon, mate. You're allowed to have a beer now. It's after after 10 o'clock. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Right up. Cheers. I'm done. There we go. Cheers. Good job so far, boys. Good job. Been going real well. All right, so we're going to stick on the new Clearview compact mirrors. Now, these are an awesome little mirror. They're quite compact, that's why they're called the compacts. Now, this is an Isuzu D-Max X terrain, so it's top of the range, which means it'll have power fold and power adjust, okay? So there's no cameras to worry about, no cameras underneath there, but it'll have all those features and we'll be able to take all those features and put them into the mirror, so they'll have the wiring harness for that. It's quite an easy install. Done a few of these before. You'd be quite surprised how easy it is and how quick you can put the new compact mirror on from Clearview. There she goes, so you pop that panel. There we go, that's the bit I needed. There's the screw. That pops up. Now that then allows us to get to the wiring harness. Like you reckon, it seems like a, a daunting task to pull, pull a mirror off. Like you look at it and go, where the hell the hell are we gonna take that off? But you'd be actually surprised how easy it is because the old Clearview mirror comes with all the harnesses and everything in place. So put that in, I'll get the first bolt in. Matter of clipping that into there. You know they're working when that happens. So I've got the ignition on for that. And now it's just a matter of putting everything back and tightening up the screws. Mirror goes close. They fold quicker than the standard ones. Mirror opens. Don't it. Indicator. They're very nice mirror, the old compact. So basically, it's like taking two bits, two lenses, we'll call them lenses, or two mirrors, okay, and combining them into two to give you that wide field of vision, okay, with that, with that lens, with that single lens, so you get a wide field of vision. That's why it says, okay, objects in this mirror may seem closer than they appear. I'm just reading it, by the way. But still, remember, still perfectly legal when you're towing, okay? The ability to have extended mirrors, that's what makes it legal or illegal when you're towing a caravan or a trailer or something like that. So remember that one next time. You gotta make sure that you are legal, okay, when you're towing. And that's what the Clearview mirror does. It's a permanently based towing mirror that replaces the existing hardware or the existing mirror on your vehicle. Looks a million bucks, okay, let's face it. And it's legal, perfectly legal when you're telling. So, there you go, Clearview. Gotta love the gear from Clearview. All right, so, I'll plug that sucker in there. Remember, this is a 12 volt speaker, so obviously we're gonna do a better wiring harness. We're just gonna wire it up quickly to see how it works. 
Your Can phone is connected. Woohoo! And the other thing that I just noticed here with the, the Norwell canopies is this. See this? This is a new toolbox range, right? Okay, that is double sealed. So normally, would be this seal here. See that seal there? That would be the normal seal, and it would go up and seal against here. Now, it has got a double seal on it. So that seals against the inside edge of that toolbox. Seal there, seal there. Mate, these things are gonna be pressurized next. They're that good. Like a glove. Installing the power slide. I'll tell you what, we're getting amongst it, that's for sure. Does it come with elevator Easy music? Easy way to get out of the camera. It's an elevator, elevator music. We need some elevator music. Yeah. There you go, sir. Who's that? Thanks, mate. It can hold 180 kilos. It's a lot more than me, too. How good's that? Audio's in for now. We've got to wire it up properly. We've got slides in. That's easy enough. And we've got to get some uh, refrigeration for the slide. Awnings are on. We've got the Batwing awning on. We've got the Sunseeker 2.5, the Campos rooftop tent. We've even got um, a light bar on the front of it, ready to rock and roll. So uh, we'll get it back to McCormack's and um, those boys will start the uh, finishing touches on this thing. We're getting there. Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by the Premium Adventure Recovery System from Campos 4x4. Now, this is an awesome little kit. Now, I put this kit together so that you've got all the little things that you need when you're out on an adventure and you get yourself bogged and you're looking for recovery. So, if you get a chance, check it out. Campos 4x4 shop online or get down to your local Campos dealer and they'll have plenty of these in stock. Otherwise, mate, stop listening to me, Babylon, and get on with your adventure. No, oh, I'm gonna chuck these into the D-Max, give them a whirl. Wow, they look, they're different. These are a three-dimensional type 3D format type, floor mat type thing that just absolutely is exactly the shape of the floor. Look at that. Now, well, we'll give them a whirl anyway. Look at that. That looks good. Oh, that's shiny. I like that. Look at that little sucker there. Manta. I like that. Yeah, so this little sucker here is gonna go on the D-Max, Simon's D-Max. Now we're getting to the pointy end of this build. So we're putting things on like exhaust system. As you can see, I haven't even got the tires and rims on just yet, but that is coming very soon. So this is, okay, a three inch stainless steel mandrel bent exhaust. Now we're putting it uh, DPF backed, okay? So it's going behind the DPF. We're not removing the DPF because you're not supposed to do that. So um, this will go on, we'll bolt her up. There's a little flex joint, check that out. All right, so this is what's come out. This is the old exhaust, it's got this big muffler going on in here. Bit of restriction, okay, look at the size of it. It's only about an inch or inch and a half. Um, so it's quite small, quite restricting. So you can see the difference, have a look at that. Okay, there's the difference there. Bigger flange, bigger, bigger pipe, a bit more flow. It'll help it a little bit, okay? Uh, it'll give it a slightly different note. There's a lot of restriction going on in here, okay? But there's not a lot you can do because we are DPF backed, okay? But it will look a lot better than this monstrosity here and save a bit of weight. Like, there's a bit of weight in this thing as well. And remember, it's all about weight as well. So th there's a few advantages of replacing your exhaust system. And there's also one last thing, let's face it. Um, we are a country that lives by the ocean. There's no doubt about it. And we love to drive on beaches and we love the salt air and we love to get our four wheel drives on there. So I don't know about you, but having a stainless steel exhaust as opposed to uh, a mild steel or aluminiumized exhaust, okay? You know, generally the stainless steel is gonna last a hell of a lot longer. 
So you won't have any exhaust troubles down the road with rust and, and you know, durability and all that sort of stuff because you're, you're getting something that is a, a lot stronger, uh, better built and, you know, tuned better to the car. There you go. With the build completed, now it's time to see how Simon rates the new rig. All right, there you go, guys. It's finally finished. Simon's new truck build for season 15 of All For Adventure. Mate, it's pretty awesome. There's no doubt about it. It's a 2022 Isuzu D-Max. It, uh, it come to us about three, four weeks ago. Um, stock as a rock, and now it looks absolutely awesome. The whole team has put a big effort in, and you know, I've been putting some hard yards in. All the boys have been putting some hard yards in to build this awesome truck. Now, I can't wait to see Simon's face when he sees this thing for the first time. He hasn't had a new truck for a few years now, so I reckon he's gonna be absolutely ecstatic with what I've done. Got a few little tricks on board for him, keep him happy when he's out in the sticks, but I reckon he's gonna love it. Now, he should be here any minute now because I've got him on the clock and I said, come round, 3.30, mate, the sun will be going down, we'll come and check her out. It'll be an awesome truck. So we raced up from Brisbane today, actually, to make sure that we had it in time. I was literally bolting stuff on five minutes ago so that I had it finished. So, he should be here any minute now. He reckons he was coming over on the dirt bike. There he is, right on cue. Here he comes. That's him, all right. <laughs> good, good to see you, mate. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> mate, that's one cool-looking truck. Yeah, did you see it coming down? Oh, mate, I nearly crashed into the thing over there. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at you, I was looking at the new truck. Yeah, what do you reckon? Wow, how sharp does that bloody How good does it look? look? Yeah, it's it's a bit of a weapon. Mate, that's the toughest-looking D-Max I've, I've seen for a while. Yeah, no, she's pretty good. Mate, All right, nice to, I'll show, I'm going to show it to you. Like we'll run through the whole thing. Now we've spent a I'll fair just, bit of time on just it. Just give me the keys, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't around. Just give me the bloody, down, just give me the bloody keys. Oh uh, yeah, no, we spent a fair bit of time putting it all together. It's got, I'm man, it has got some fruit on it. I like the colour. It's got some. You like the colour? I like the new bar too. You know, you like the look. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah. So this, this is a titanium metallic satin graphite. Does that make it titanium, make it a bit tougher? No. No? <laughs> Scratch free. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> it's got everything. All right, well, let's go through it and yeah, I'll show you what's through. on it. Give me a run through, mate. What All right, no dramas. Up? Let's do it. I see there's a, a big winch hanging under there. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 12, 12 and a half thousand pound XTM winch for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Remote control, as you know. Yeah. What do you think about the lighting this year? Like, mate, you're going to town on my lights. Can you see? Oh, my Lord. There's three, yeah. three the th triple stack light bars and and because they're so they're so far back, they don't glare. No, they won't glare off that bonnet. Sweet. Of course, you've got the uh, Uniden gear. Yep. Okay, you've got that stuff. And as you can see down in here, there's a full Brown Davis, like I mean, kick-ass bash plate. Yeah, also. Awesome. Like awesome. I mean, full underbody yep. bash plate. Yep. Goes well, right in underneath. Long range tank as well. I'm picking. Yeah, there'll be a long range tank in there. Suspension this year. It looks a bit higher than normal. Yeah, we've tweaked it up a little bit yep. this year, so it's it's probably got a you know a little bit higher there. That's good. <laughs> and, and the, the tyres, yeah. mate. Look at my tyres. Yes. You know I love my tyres. Yes, right? yes. I've got, I know. I've got a little tyre fetish, believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, brand good. new mud tyres. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. The rims, look at the sharp looking rims. Yeah, they're a new set of rims from uh, ROH. What's going on down the side here, mate? And we've got fancy new mirrors. The new clear view. Yeah, you got the uh, Fats, fats uh, snorkel there, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and of course, you know, you love these ones. Oh, I haven't had a set of them on my car yet. Look at that. Lovely. I mean, I'm even going to try it out. Oh, yeah. Get Max Jack's on the roof. Max, he's got all, got all the Rhino rack gear too, eh? The shovel. Yeah, all the good gear. Let's have a look at this canopy here. So this is the new... Okay, it's got a few new features on the um, Norwell canopy. Oh, you can see the new door yeah, handles. Yeah, little door handles, a few other little bits and pieces. Yeah. Nice. Check that out. We've nice. done a we've done a mint carpet job on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be looking after that, and not getting it dirty. <laughs> Just some drawers. Nice big ass drawer for all the food. Lovely or whatever, or whatever. You'll like this. Oh, look at that light so on. It's the new Rogue 
Same boat. Rogue right? Red oh, Vision, oh, yeah, can, does all the lights, so you can then individually operate really? So it's a new Rogue system. Two displays, twin displays on both sides. Really? Yeah, twin display. 2,000 amp, uh, sorry, 2,000 watt inverter for you. Lovely. Okay, so power. We'll be able to go to the snow again and run lecky blankets. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, you've got that, but you've got everything at your fingertips on this side. Yep. Compressor, lighting, 240, see the 240 come straight on. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, it just all operates from here. So I've got to learn all that. Yeah, yeah it's hundred percent all that. Yep. And you can put it on the app on your phone, of course. Yeah, right. And so it's all compatible. The Red Vision system is all compatible with the Rogue system as well. Okay. So the Rogue has all the switching which is around the other side. So electronic switching and electronic um, fusing, it's all built into that one system. You watch, mate, I'll be just getting to the end of the trip and I'll be just starting to <laughs> remember how to use the bloody thing. <laughs> First of all, let's have a look on the side. So I've put a, a sun seeker on the side here. Yep. Rhino Rack Sun Seeker 2.5, you yep. know those ones. Yep, perfect. Okay, they're Every pretty days. cool. Then of course on the other side is the two, uh, the 270 Batwing. Bat Batwing, yep. Yeah, comes right around. Shovel there, side lighting, XTM side lighting, yep. that operates from a uh, switch inside as well. Yep, we can so see big ass the exhaust hanging under there too, big shiny looking Oh exhaust. yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, have a look under there, mate. Yeah. The new stainless steel Manta exhaust, Ooh, mate. Ooh, look at me go. Oh, shiny. You got all out for me this yeah, year. Yeah, 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 I'm not hey? kidding you. So shiny stainless steel Manta exhaust. So she'll have a sweet little, you know, sort of note yep, in it. A note. Yep. Yeah, a bit of a note, give you a little bit of less restriction. Yep. Here we go, mate, round the back, double spares. I've got okay. to get only home without two spares yeah, yet, nice. Yeah, and you got the new, um, see that? That's oh, where you charge everything now, like no. caravan charging. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, that's where you just put your power in, your 240. Is oh, like a, lovely. And a circuit breaker there as well, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, back drawer. So we got obviously draw, rear draw system. Bit of recovery gear going on. Yeah, nice. all the camp boss recovery gear. Yep. I stocked it up for you. Hitch receivers, that's soft shackles. That's yeah. The bit tougher ones or something. Oh right? yeah, they're 20, 20 tonners. Those Ooh, ones. Excellent. Yeah, so all yeah, that lovely. stuff. Very lovely. That's it. Uh, we've got um, obviously um, there's some airbags. Yep. So a set of airbags on the back here. So we've got. That's pump how you up. pump yep. them up from here. Roger. All right, so the airbags. Bit of water. That's your water tank, obviously, at the back. Yep. Like that. Because, yep. you know, there's, we've got all this these sensors yeah. and everything on the back now because you've got all that reversing sensors. Rooftop tent. Rooftop tent, mate. You're familiar with the Camp Boss rooftop tent? 100%. Perfect. Come around here. Oh, yeah. have a look around here, mate. This is the kitchen side. This, this is, is the part you like the most. This is the important side. Yeah, this is the important side. Up she goes. Oh, Have that's a new. Look at that. Yeah, that's all new. Look How cool is that? Yeah. Huh? What do we got going on, mate? Oh, well, first of all, you're going to love this. Okay, this is the power slide. <laughs> Clearview power slide, mate. Push a you button. Know, you know how to operate one of those. I do, and yeah. Away you go. Down she goes. Down she goes. And of course, we got the Mike Kilman. Yep. A 69 litre dual zone. You know the one? We had a good run out of them last year. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah. They are awesome. Look at that. Up and down, don't even, have good. To, don't have to raise a sweat. Now, chuck that away. I'll show you what else is in this as well. There we go, just slide her in, no problem. Pretty good, eh? That's lovely. And of course, have a look. Oh, we got the table. Yeah, yeah, a little table. And, and I'll be able to make coffee quick on the side of the road. Little drawer set up. Perfect. Pretty good, eh? Slide him back in. Now, the whole setup, the whole setup has 400 amp hours wow. of lithium. Yep. So battery there, 200 amp hour red arc lithium, another 200 amp hour in there. Two batteries. So 400 amp hours of lithium. We've got bush doof <laughs> with lighting. Oh, stop it. Yeah. Stop it. What colours would you like, sir? <laughs> I think he thinks I'm like 20, not bloody 60. <laughs> You can play some old country music on yeah, there or something. Yeah, that's not what we're having, mate. That's not a problem. We don't have a problem. Just keep the noise down. Have a look at this, mate. Hose reel. Yep, perfect. Oh, you're going to love this. Check yeah. this out. You want to pump four tyres at once, mate? Oh, really? <laughs> Got the tyre spider hiding in the toolbox. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Just okay. plug it in. Plug it in, away you go. Run that one to each tyre. Yeah, nice yeah. work. Man, Four nice hoses, work. bang, yep. bang, bang. Turn the little valves on. Turn it on, done. Bob's your uncle. Gauge is there. Yeah. And turn it on, you turn it on from the, the Yeah, yeah, thing so, up there, so. so because, remember I said, two displays? Yeah. So that if you're on that side, 
can turn it on, on from that yeah, side. Yeah, on this side. Dunk. See? So you can turn it on that yeah, side yeah. and then turn it off this yes, side? Yes, you can just turn off and on any side. Lights, compressor. See? Yeah, I, like, yeah, I yeah. like the sound of that. And 240, all that sort of stuff. So, yep. see that? And this has got to shut off this one? This is this. It's a. It's <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a S. It's a head. You don't have to worry about any of that. Excellent. Pump, pump tires up, mate, till the cows come up. It's up. even Simon proof. It's, it's even good. Simon proof. That's, good. that's pretty good. Yeah, I so like that. Yeah, I like that. That's the tire spider. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that system there, obviously, you've got breakers, circuit breakers, all that sort of stuff. You've got power, you've got external power, internal power. It's all managed by that manager 30. Yep. And here's the best part. When you're driving, your batteries, because you've got 400 amp hours, the 1240 is hooked up. So there's a DC-DC 1240 from Red Arc mm -hmm. and a manager 30, and they're hooked together to create 70 amp hours of charging while you're driving. Well, 70 not, amp hours. You know what will end up happening? What? The camera guys will be coming and robbing my power out of my truck. Oh, for sure. 100%. 100%. They'll be running power leads across, they will so. so you'll be able to run everything from your hair dryer to your microwave, to whatever. Coffee machine. Your coffee machine. Ooh, where's my coffee, coffee machine? I'm not seeing the coffee machine. I haven't got the coffee machine where's yet. Where's my coffee machine? Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Espresso? Perfect. Yeah, all right. That's good, mate. That's nice. I yeah. like it. Pretty cool. So Very there's nice lighting. Light. Obviously, you've got lighting, yellow lighting and stuff like that. Or you can just put that mood lighting, you know, if you're in the mood for a bit of mood. Perfect. <laughs> all right, close that up. Come along here, obviously we've got the long range tank, like we said, the Brown Davis long range tanks fits under there. Yep. You're familiar with that, it's very, yep. you know, yep. same, same, 140 litres, just it's out of control, the amount of fuel, as you know, yep. and you really need a, a, you know, a good long range tank. Uh, the bat wing on the side, yep. that's the new and improved latest model. Yeah, okay. okay. It's got the new bag on it and the new, the, yeah, so, yep. so that comes out, spins right around for you. Yep. So bat wing. Perfect. Okay. It's got the new decals as well on the D-Max. Side lighting for yep. um, cooking and for stuff. Cooking and stuff like that. Power, see your power on the outside there. Yep, yep. So if you need auxiliary to run the lighting in your tent. Yep. And you need to hook in some solar. Perfect. Perfect. All Perfect. right. Uh, inside the car, let's have a look inside the car, mate. Obviously this is the important bit, the, driving, the driver's spot. All right, we're inside the car now. The first thing you're gonna notice is the new uh, Floor mats. Oh, yeah, nice fancy floor mats. 3D. Yeah, yeah cool. very nice. Brown Davis floor mats. Very nice. The Uniden UHF. Oh, okay, the new uh, X-Track. I, like, I like the placement of it there too. This is, is that good. good there? Yeah, I like that. that, that, yeah. that is reachable, very, perfect. Very doable. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay. We got the Uniden crash cam, mate. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I'm qualified to use that. No, you're not, but no, no crashing with the crash cam. Have you? All right. Have yeah. you? Okay. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is uh, we've got some power up here, a USB. Yep. See that? Yeah, Pretty all cool. Cameras and all yeah. The gear. Yeah. Power. Lovely. Um, the other thing you'll notice is we've got the Red Arc Tow Pro, of course. You never leave home without the Tow Pro. I and do notice. I do notice the new D Max. Though, I'm like, how fancy is it, got? That's yes. Cool. Look at so that. So just, just look at sports steering wheel and all the niceness. Leather dash with yeah. the red. Yeah. So we just turn the ignition on there like that. So now they lovely all the all the you know lane assist and cruise control and radar assist and all that. Yep. Yeah, so all that now is um, let's switch that off for a second. So all that now is is easy to operate and you can disconnect it when you want to and things yep. like that. Yep. Don't forget the seat covers. Yeah, you got the, the new yeah, the super yeah, fit. Yeah, lovely. yeah, super fit denim seat covers, mate. Mm, very yeah, comfy. Very denim comfy. Seat covers. Very comfy. Mate, you're, you've done well. You've done well. Go. Yeah, oh, look, it's even got push button. We love push button. Look at that. She's all yours, mate. I'll leave you with it. <laughs> See you in Cape York. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. Oh, no, oh, seatbelt. Don't forget the seatbelt. I quite often get in trouble for no seatbelt. Seatbelt. I got my seatbelt on. Copy that. Good to go. You good to go? Mate, thank you. I'll take the dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. Enjoy. It's an old one, you got a Kickstarter. Okay, copy that. Geez, that's a nice truck. It's a bloody nice truck. So a lot of effort's gone into it. Thanks to all the sponsors, like, mate, unbelievable amount of effort has come from everybody involved in this build. Um, I reckon it's gotta be one of the sickest D-Max going. Like, it's, it's an absolute cracker of a truck. Um, you know, it's the top of the range Isuzu D-Max 2023 model. It's got 
all the latest fruit from all the best gear in the business. So, all we've got to do now is try her out for season 15.